right, welcome back, League Niners. We're back with another one here. We got our boy Brandon Trailer with us, Conference USA hey. player. He's gonna teach us how to cut swing today. Neither of us really know how to do that. We know how it's done, but we don't know how to do it. So he's gonna show us how. He's got a great one. Check out some videos of him. SW48's got plenty, I'm sure, so check those out. We're gonna get him on here too. We're gonna be breaking down his cut swing in the future as well. So, let's check it out. As we mentioned in a previous video, Brandon here is a Sunco sponsored. So Brandon, tell us a little bit about what uh, we're swinging out here. Uh, shoot, so then we're gonna you know, swing all the, the black 12 inch barrel, Inloaded Sun Coast, y'all. It's um, you know kind of newer company, but you know it's based off of Adidas. Definitely a flexier handle than what most are used to, but it, this is really good for the cut swing, y'all. So definitely put a ruckus in your hand, and you know. If anybody's in thing. the market, check out his uh, social media handles yes, in the description, sir. or reach out to us, and we can connect you because, as you will see later in this video. These things are fire. Stupid. Yeah. Just pulled it out of the wrapper and these things are <laughs> really good. It. Game ready out of yes, the wrapper. That's right. So let's have some fun. Let's do it. Um, so I noticed, we noticed that a lot of like conference guys tend to stand a little bit further up in the box. Mm -hmm. I noticed you do it too. Mm -hmm. um, we just guess, but like what's your reasoning by standing up there? Like, So honestly, it's uh, you want the pitch to be closer to you, I should say. That's why a lot of guys do what they want. And a lot of people like to catch the ball up here instead of like, if you're back, you're gonna catch it a little bit down here. Okay. Mainly it's to catch it up here and go, because you know, a lot of, a lot, if you've noticed a lot of the home run guys, they literally catch that thing and then it just, you know, it flies off the bat once they're up. If they're back in the box, it's gonna cut down and your swing is gonna be almost a level swing, like a baseball swing. Okay. And that's kind of what you don't want to do, I should say, unless you really got it, you know? But that's the reasoning for standing way up in front. So me, I stand way up in front and like way off in game situations. You okay. know, like like that's the inside corner. I'm like right here. And way okay, up yeah, see, I, I like that too, because I can cover the outside. You can cover it, and that's the reason why. I tell people softball is all about extension uh, with the hands. Like you want to have this. If you have this and you're hitting the ball, most likely you're gonna hit it hard, you're gonna hit it solid and stay consistent every time, you know? But if you're over there, you're covering the plate like I see a lot of guys do. And if you notice, they jam themselves a lot mm -hmm. because they're trying to get around on it. That will mess you up big time and it's going to frustrate you. And you're going to be like, damn, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. That inside out baseball swing <laughs> they're trying mm -hmm. to do. They're trying to get that. Yeah. A lot of the lower guys do that big time. And sometimes when I'm umpire, I'll be like, hey, so step off a little and see how that works for you. If it don't work, you know, try to do what you keep doing. But step off, see how that works, see if you hit it harder go from there. All right. All right, so we're going to have a uh, trailer teach me how to cut swing because I don't know what I'm doing and he'll give us a little bit of tips here. Cam and I yeah. are going to learn something today. <laughs> Over exaggerate that time out. Even if it looks bad or feels bad, try it. Yep, and keep doing it. Keep working on it. So how do you do that without, like, I feel like when I do that, I just get really long and I do that. Uh, so with me, like literally, I try to catch it a little bit ahead of what you're catching. You're catching it kind of back here. If you okay. can catch that thing, like right here. Okay, and, got you. And cut, you know, finish your swing as if you're like that. Okay. You're gonna be like, oh, okay. It's a big difference. Gotcha. Yeah, just like that. Okay. Like basically lunge at the ball. Gotcha. And you will, you will get it. Trust me. If you work on it, yep. Just that's that's where it starts. The ground balls is where it starts. Yep. Oh, that floated. And you're like, oh man, this is easy. Man. Right. You're just like, oh wait, that makes sense. And the main thing about cutting it, it, so cutting the ball is a softball term, I should say. Sure. Because we're all baseball affiliated. Everyone's played baseball. And I could tell you, you you know, you still have your baseball. Yeah, 100%. If you start cutting the ball, like in BP and stuff, every time, you're, it, you'll become like a, it'll be a softball swing. Gotcha. You know? it's mixed with your baseball swing. You'll start learning the power where you're, you know, where you could get all the power and everything from it. 
just keep working on it. If you were to do it, you don't have to do it. I mean, you get, I see you get hits all the time. Sure, but you know, but it is good to learn for sure, and it is good to work on, and it is good to start doing it more because now you play softball. I don't right. Play baseball anymore, but softball is you know it's gonna take over. You're gonna be like, oh damn. <laughs> you're gonna start hitting it harder than you think. You're gonna be like, okay, damn, this mother sucker was right. Yeah, like that's why this game's fun. <laughs> That's why he's always smiling out there. Woo. Then you're gonna start blowing up the pitches, and everyone's gonna be like, oh, damn. Yeah. You can hear it, though, you when you hear it. it. You yep. can hear a difference. The backspin is what you want, and cutting the ball is what it is, is where you get most backspin on it. Yeah. Cut that gap wide open. You can definitely feel when you get it, you get a lot more whip mm, on the bat. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. Woo, look out. Hell yeah. Yeah. yeah All right, we'll end on that, Cam. Get some. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. What's up, League Nighters? Real quick, want to let you know we had a little bit of a video issue uh, on our shoot for this one. Uh, it was pretty hot out there that day, and the phone kept overheating, but we were able to cash out a bunch of audio, and we wanted you guys to still be able to hear it because Brandon had a lot of great things to say. So just take a look at it here while we uh, put a little of the BP video over top of it. So just listen to all the great stuff he's got to say about the cut swing here. To hit this, and I feel like you got to be able to Literally, you have to tomahawk that thing. Which That's, he's really I can talk good at, but it's just I don't even think about it when I do it. But just do it, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to be way up in the box. Way up in the box. Cause see, I'm usually like even with the plate. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna get way up here. Way up, and then you have to catch it in front too. Yep. Got so to throw, throw the bat head. One, one of the questions that we get a lot. So you're an umpire. Yes. What is the official rule on your front foot being outside of the box? Uh, so the front foot could be outside of the box as much as one, because basically in U-Trip there is no box, you okay. know. Um, but the back foot, is, as long as well, as long as the front foot ain't across the plate or on the plate, then you're good to go, you know. Okay. And you said you just can't bring this foot in front. In of. front of that. Yep. Before you swing. Before you swing. So you could do it after you swing. You could like literally, you know. If you fall out of the box and everything, then you are more than welcome to do that. As long as you're started here and you're swinging and then you go, you're good. Okay, here we go. Let's <laughs> see what happens. Cut swing 101. Take one. Yeah. Hey, hey, that one worked. There it is. It's my tomahawk. There it is. Yep. You oh, got shit. it. You All got right. It. I'm telling I'm just, I'm just doing what you know. Doing the tomahawk. Yeah. That's literally what it is, a tomahawk swing and you know, you'll you'll start learning how to follow through with it, yep. and you're gonna be like, oh damn. I think you pointed it out for me. Uh, the the issue was the contact point. The contact. Point. I was finding it too deep, mm -hmm. and so I wasn't getting the snap through at the contact. Oh, <laughs> I'm trying. Trust me, that happened. I've done yeah. that multiple times and laughed at myself for it. So <laughs> it's good. Hey, you take 50 swings today, and you get five good ones. Yeah. The next time you yeah. do it, it'll be six or seven, and yeah, it'll just keep, keep going more and yeah, more, right? Tell you what, this bat feels very flexy today. <laughs> oh. Hey, put this coast in your hand. A little too high. Oh yeah, yeah. One time I'm for swing the this one. baby. Woo! Get out of here, Fab Four. Bring <laughs> on the Sun Coast. Get out of here, Sun Coast time. Two forty time. Let's see. Oh, oh and he already rockets one. Okay. <laughs> this is a twenty-six or twenty-six, yep, 26. 26 and a half. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, two in a row. Sun Coast cuts ball better. Call trailer. It, yeah, y'all. <laughs> Dude, it Especially might. Especially if you have the if you have the top tomahawk swing down, the Sun Coast is the way to go because oh, that, that whip factor, you know, the bat Seriously. does the work for you basically. Wow. I was not expecting that. Yeah, oh damn. I should oh. jump it off the bat right now. <laughs> Dude, oh, it is like goodness. world's easier with this bat. <laughs> I was not expecting that. That's why you try different bats. Yep. Ooh. Guess so. Just do one more. Sun Coast is the way to go. Hey, end on a good one. Yeah. 240. Hit up Brandon Trailer. Uh, oh, yeah. Of course you get that I one. Your phone overheats and it, it stopped the video. Did it? <laughs> Damn. Damn. See, I got lots of good ones. Wow. That's. You, I can very. I can feel it just holding it, and that's why I was like, I was like not so sure about it, but. Okay. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. That's probably why. 
I never well, liked the flexi two. handles before it's because I've never really I've never had that much of it. I'm the opposite. I do too much T-work and I just don't feel like I got the timing that I need. Mm -hmm. T-work, it, it's tough to do. But now, now when you do T-work, now you can definitely you can put a higher in yeah. yep. on your cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's what will get you too. Like, just standing there, stand tall and literally have, if you have a T even like this high, put it way in front. Like, a lot of people hit off their front foot too and they Yeah, so like yeah, me, I noticed I, that. I put the T like right here and I'm like way back here and I literally just go after it. Ugh. And then just cut from the T. Yeah, cuz usually when you're when you're cutting like that, you're not trying to hit it mm -mm. forever. You're so trying to cut it. Yeah. yeah. And that's what that's what's so the turn you try to cut it down every time. You guys think we got enough? Present, tan, all you feel. If you hit ground balls, they ain't feeling us. No, right? definitely. No. Especially if you hit them one hopper right like yeah. sort of hit the yeah. 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 And with the cutter that shit will start chopping on them, and they, oh my god. Well, also, I mean, we play with E, they always put us at Tiger in Manteca. It's always. only 280. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's like, you use DBO Central if you don't know what you're if doing. You accidentally, yep. If you side the baseball on Tiger or Angel or whatever, then hey, guess what? That's just gonna go out every time. Like, don't be scared to hit the pitcher either. Yeah, I'm never scared to hit the pitcher. I, mean, I, don't, I don't even consider it. I've just... hit plenty of times pitching, yes, and it sucks. Uh, <laughs> and it sucks. Hey, we want to give another big shout out to Brandon Trailer for helping us out with this video. Again, conference pro, great dude, awesome to hang out with, really great at teaching us how to do some things. So uh, definitely check him out on social media. We're going to have it down here in the description. But again, as always, please like, subscribe, ring the bell, check us out. We really appreciate you watching this video and we will see you guys next time.